every decision in life has pros and it has cons. There is almost never a big decision that is clear cut that doesn't have some pros and cons. I have three kids, I have a wife, I have a business. We are constantly making big decisions and those decisions are almost never obviously do this. There are pros and cons to each of them. Sometimes the pros barely outweigh the cons. That means a decision has a lot of cons to it, has a little more pros to it. And neutering your dog is one of those decisions. I made a video, my first video that have, had over 200,000 views was with this dog right here, the big gray dog, and Prince, my dog right there, was in that office. And in that video was kind of a throwaway line about neutering or possibly not neutering your dog. And it's because the energy in the room at that moment between these two dogs who had never met was so intense. It was a unneutered energy. He was not neutered at the time. My dog is neutered. Or, or Yeah, they were both unneutered. He still is unneutered, my dog. And the energy in the room, this guy is unneutered. And that's why I'm bringing him down here because I'm gonna talk about what happened earlier. The energy in the room you could not get on video. And it was a unneutered energy. So I said, you should neuter your dog if your dog is doing this. This dog right now, Waimea, is humping, hey, off, is humping this dog. So here's the thing, guys. And after I said that in that video, it was super controversial. Hun thousands of comments about, not just thousands on neutering, thousands of comments, hundreds of comments on neuter neutering, mainly from Europe, about neutering your dog and how bad it is. You know what? I don't have my dog neutered for a lot of reasons. I am not saying to neuter your dog, but you European folks, I could care less that European countries like Germany and like one or two in the, in the, the northern part of Europe have banned and outlawed neutering. Do you know how little I care what European governments do about neutering their dog? I could care less. Some guy emailed me, everyone commented, some guy emailed me and he's like, you should look at the studies out of Norway. So I tried to look. Then I emailed the guy back and I said, I can't find him. What studies are you talking about? Guy never emailed me back. Just threw out that. You should look at that. I tried to look at studies. You guys, there are pros and cons to every decision. People come out here all the time and they say, my dog is obsessively humping other dogs. And I go, and they're like, I want to be able to go to dog parks, Joel. What do I do? And I'm like, okay, when he jumps up there, you're going to mark the behavior, grab the dog, pull him off. I do that. It doesn't work. Or maybe I actually do it at the session and it just doesn't work. The dog's drive to hump is so high that we're not going to get rid of the behavior. And I say, well, you should probably new your dog. And they go, oh, but my vet told me not till 18 months. And I go, okay, you have a decision to make. It's not my decision to make. What is more important to you? There are pros and cons to not neutering or neutering your dog. And you have to make that call. But nobody should act like it is some easy decision to never neuter your dog. That's insane. I have dogs out here all the time that are obsessively licking the genitals of other dogs. Not board and train, but private sessions. And they, I'm like, neuter, then neuter your dog. Oh, but the vet told me, you know, Vets, by the way, vets are some of, there's some great ones. A lot of them are very unimpressive people. I know a lot of them. If we are, say, or we are just doing something that affects our life so much because a vet said it, based on a study out of Europe, you need to do your own homework. You need to do what you think is right. There was a study done, like it was a long time ago, like 50, 60 years ago, that people, older folks should take like half an aspirin every day. I read a study like five years ago that was like, oh yeah, sorry, we were wrong. That study's wrong. You shouldn't take aspirin every day or something. Like, it, basically, they're like, sorry, that was wrong. Studies come out all the time and they just debunk the study that was done for 50 years. That, that's how this thing works. So you've got to make your decision based on your life and what you want your life to be. So this morning we come out, Waimea, this unneutered Cane Corso, unneutered, was sitting there and he had Prince backed up and was just growling at Prince. We have 10 dogs here right now. These two are the only unneutered dogs. Do you think that him being unneutered and him being unneutered, that was, that's why he was doing it. It was an unneutered thing, okay? My dog isn't neutered. 
I am not into neutering dogs. I am into neutering dogs when they are growling at other dogs. Oh, but Joel, uh, someone on Joe Rogan said that, uh, which is true, said that, 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 that you shouldn't neuter your dog and they did these tests. Great, then don't neuter your dog like me. But also don't sit there and go, well, I wanna go to dog parks and my dog's obsessively humping another dog and, and I wanna go to dog parks. Well, you gotta make your choice. Make your choice on all the facts, right? Don't just listen to your vet because your vet said something. Don't just listen to me because I said something. You gotta make your choice in life. Don't listen to uh, uh, Europe. Don't listen to the guy on Joe Rogan. Make your own choice. Don't listen to, and I know you're, you're, you're trying to get all the information and that's good. My dog is not aggressive. Why, am I, why would I neuter my dog, okay? Some dogs obsessively hump, they obsessively lick, and their unneuteredness gives them this attitude that they can growl and they can do things. Are they the only ones, that, are unneutered dogs the only ones that hump? No, are unneutered dogs the only ones aggressive? No, does it make them worse? Maybe, but you gotta make your decision based on the facts that you have. And if you think that all, that these studies are, that they're not gonna eventually get reversed and they're gonna say, oh, sorry, um, now, are, are, are we going to start to, to neuter, should we ever neuter dogs probably before a year? Probably not. I wouldn't recommend he's neutered just because he growled at him. I'm not saying that. But people are now taking this to the extreme of, of, of never going, never letting their dog meet other dogs and whatnot because their dog has become aggressive. So let's watch. So he hasn't growled at Prince. Prince, come here. Good. Prince. Prince, so Prince doesn't want to come over because of this guy. Come here. Good boy, Princey. Look at this look away. Look at this look away. Princey, come here. Come here. Good. Good. Good boy. Prince did not want to come over here. Prince did not want to come over here because of him. Now, I'm in the middle of it, so this dog's like, oh, this guy's the boss. But this is because... He doesn't like him because he's unneutered, but he's not, starting the, he's not starting the problems. He's starting the problems, okay? So, I'm not saying to neuter your dog. My dog isn't neutered. But you gotta make your decision based on all the information. And just because something is swinging one, one way, never, don't neuter your dog before 18 months, before two years, before a year, never neuter your dog. You gotta take your own life into account. Your life is not like someone else's life. Half the people commenting on never neutering your dog on that, that other video is because they live on a farm. You live in downtown Nashville. You live in downtown San Diego. They live in a farm and they're the ones going, you should never neuter your dog. Their life isn't your life. It's totally different lives, okay? Uh, wait as long as you humanly possibly can to neuter your dog and only do it if you need to do it. Don't just do it like we used to do it or people used to do it early on. But you gotta make your decision. Don't listen to the noise. Listen to me, actually, but no. Listen to everything. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.